Um, Colin, I'm going to borrow you real quick. So look, when the guy first moves, I want to already be moving. Right? I'm already moving in. If he comes and I go to try to escape, I'm, yeah, I'm setting myself up. Um, if I escape like that, right? Not to say you shouldn't escape. But this is where the danger is. So I need to come into the guy. Then I have all sorts of options, right? You don't want to be out of breath facing one guy. Oh, I know, I know. So you want to in, in through the nose, out from the mouth. It'll help. As the guy's coming, I move, I touch his leg, I touch his body. So I, got, I want you guys to start using your legs now. No hands still yet, right? I want your feet in the game first. So as the guy comes, whoop, there's a leg, whoop, and another leg, okay? Bring your legs in, and you don't have to try to kill your partner. He's not your enemy, he's your training partner. He's helping you learn and study, yes? So, as the guy goes to grab, I move and I touch, and then I manipulate his structure. Do you see this? I want to manipulate the guy's structure. It's more important than he coming in and I'm like, uh, 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 and we sitting here, because then he's just gonna, he's gonna hit me back. It's gonna be, we're gonna be fighting. We don't want to fight. Yes. So as he comes, I want to move in and manipulate his structure. There's my foot. It comes into play. There's his body, and he moves. It should be, um, it doesn't feel uh, abrasive, does it? it? It should feel like... Um, More flowing. Yeah, like I'm guiding him is how I want it to feel. As he comes, and if he's, even if he has a little um, in, intent behind it, a little strength, the structure can still be broken the same. The structure can still be broken the same, right? Because these are what's holding the guy up. If I go to touch a leg and the legs aren't there, but he's up here, then he's a special kind of person at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But as he's coming, I move in. His structure is already gone. He can fight to get it back, but I work to keep him off balance. You get it? So I want you guys to start bringing the legs in. Make sense? Questions? Yes. So, if he, like, if it was like this, mm -hmm. could I jump up here and bring you down? Yeah, but you wouldn't want to do that to an adult because you're so small. So you'd still be better off dealing with the lower extremities. And because you're a little girl, you don't want to be trying to fight an adult. The best you could hope to do is get yourself a little bit of running head start. So you take your knee or your foot and you just kick it straight up in the middle or you take your finger and you jab it straight into the eyeball as hard as you can, as deep as it'll go. You understand? You can't fight a grown-up. Make sense? Everybody agree? All the grown-ups agree? Kid, you can't fight a grown-up. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So... <laughs> Gra 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, element of surprise on a weapon will, will help. But I just prefer all my little ones to just understand an adult is, is an adult. And they have a, what's called grown-up strength. You don't possess that yet. So, yeah, and they're heavy, right? So you don't sit there and try to fight a grown-up. Just get, just get out of there. Get other people's attention. And yeah, make, make as much noise as you can. So grab your partner, stick with the same guy you were with. Now I'm going to switch you up in just a second. But I want to see you guys. Here, let me do one more. Come here, Kyle. So the guy goes to grab. I move as he's grabbing. But look at my legs. My, my legs can come into play now. So I want your legs coming in. Got it? Go. You said grab.